try this question on your own before moving on. What we can do to begin this problem is to draw a picture showing Gale running towards the sled and diving on it. The initial speed of Gale was given as 4 meters per second. The sled is initially at rest, so its initial speed is zero. And then when Gale jumps on it, they become attached to one another. We don't know the final speed, but we can find it by using the principle of the conservation of momentum. The first term is the initial momentum of Gale. We have the initial momentum of the sled. And then on the other side of the equation, we have the final momentum of Gale and the sled combined together. Since the initial speed of the sled was zero, we can actually cancel this term out. And then we can divide both sides by m1 plus m2 in order to isolate the final speed of Gale and the sled after she jumps on it. We can fill in the known values for the mass of Gale, the initial speed of Gale, and then the mass of the sled. And then when we simplify that on our calculator, we get approximately 3.64 meters per second. So that will be the final speed of Gale and the sled after she jumps on it. So here Gale and the sled are coasting along going 3.64 meters per second, and then they end up descending a vertical distance of 5 meters. So why don't we show that in a picture? Now after Gale travels 5 meters down the hill, she's going to be traveling at a faster speed, and it's possible to find that speed by using the conservation of mechanical energy. Let's look at that formula. So basically the conservation of energy says that the initial kinetic and potential energies will equal the final kinetic and potential energies. We can note that at the bottom of the hill the height is going to be equal to zero, whereas at the top of the hill the height is equaling five. Also note that the speed at the top of the hill can be marked as the initial speed. So let's plug in all the known values here. Notice that for the mass, we have added the mass of gal to the mass of the sled to come up with a total mass of 55 kilograms. Also, since the final height was equal to zero, this entire potential energy term will drop out, and that's why we've put a zero right here. We can easily solve for the final speed. And when you do that, you should get 10.55 meters per second as the final speed of gal and the sled at the bottom of the hill. Now, as stated in the question, now Gale and Sled are going to approach the brother, and the brother is going to jump on the sled so that everyone is happily traveling together. Well, this goes back to another collision situation, so we can use the conservation of momentum once again. Here's the initial momentum of Gale, the initial momentum of her brother, and then the final momentum of both Gale and her brother combined. The brother initially was at rest, so his initial speed is zero, therefore this term will cancel out. We'll divide both sides by m1 plus m2, and that's going to allow us to solve for the final speed of Gale, the sled, and her brother all combined. Note that the initial speed of Gale on the sled was what we found to be 10.55 meters per second, so that's going to be plugged in right here. Remember that the mass, M1, is of Gale and the sled together, so that's 55 kilograms. And then M2 is the mass of the brother, and that was stated as 30 kilograms. So let's plug in all those known values. So there they are, and when you process that on your calculator, you should get a final speed of approximately 6.82 meters per second. So that's the final speed of Gal, her brother, and the sled at this point in the problem. But there's one more segment here. So here are Gal and her brother descending an additional 10 meters to get to the very bottom of the hill. You might be wondering why it's an additional 10 meters. Well, recall that Gal had already descended by 5 meters earlier in the problem. The question states that the total vertical drop is 15 meters. So if Gal had already fallen by 5, that means she and her brother have to fall by an additional 10 to make the total vertical drop 15. So that's why we've labeled this height as being 10 meters. We can use the conservation of energy again. Since the final height of Gal and her brother is zero, we can eliminate this term. Also notice that the mass appears in all three terms, so that too can be eliminated from the equation. We can now plug in the known values. Remember the initial speed of Gal and her brother was 6.82 meters per second. We had calculated that in the previous part of the problem. And when you solve for the final speed, you should get 15.6 meters per second. And that'll be the final speed of Gal, her brother, and the sled at the very bottom of the hill. As always, thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and stay tuned for additional videos. You can also send in your own question to the email address listed on the screen.